Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, it's a cool collection of gold and silver highlighted statehood quarters. Picked up an interesting set, so let's check these out. All right, so this is a cool set. Um, I've seen it listed on eBay, and it's called the Gold and Silver Highlighted uh, Statehood Quarter Set. And for the most part, I guess that's true. Uh, they do look like silver quarters, but we'll, we'll investigate that a little further. But they're coated in plastic, like casting resin or something like that, which is interesting. So these were part of like a display case. And like a wooden box. And there are 56 coins in the complete set, and it does include the territories. Um, I always do that upside down for some reason on the Puerto Rico. Um, so I love the way they did the gold highlighting. I, I think it's um, on some coins they did it selectively, uh, so that like on this one the trees are left silvery. So. Um, yeah, I'm missing 15 coins out of the group. I don't have any of the 99s, and then obviously some of these are missing, and then I only have two of the six, um, territories. So one of the things you could do to check for, uh, whether they're really silver or not is kind of run it down the CCT coin slide, and actually, uh, let's see if we can do it. So, it doesn't really, there's a clad coin. Clad goes a little bit slower, actually. That behaves more like silver. So, you can't really use a coin slide to evaluate whether it's silver or not, but a good old scale will do. So, silver coins are supposed to be 6.3 grams, and clad coins are 5.67 so yeah, it rounds up 5.7 on mine. But if this was really silver, it would weigh a little bit more. So including the plastic and all that to be 6.0, oh, uh, not silver. So even though these kind of give the appearance by the edge of being silver, I think it's just uh, the color silver. I had to get everyone reorganized after jumbling them up there to show you the weight and all, but wanted to share a few fun facts. Um, so as many of you know, the statehood quarters are notorious for dye varieties, uh, most of which occur on the Philadelphia minted coins, but um, the Wisconsin is an exception of the Denver uh, having the variety uh, high leaf and low leaf. This one obviously doesn't have that. Um, but I did check for some of the other more common ones, like the extra tree on the Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota is another one where they ha they're in both, actually. Philadelphia and Denver minted coins have uh, extra tree possibilities, but none for me. Um, another one to look for is the extra cactus on the Philadelphia minted Arizona coins and you're looking in the designer initial area and in this case I can see all the designer initials so I know I don't have it um, but I do have the extra claw on the Philadelphia minted Alaska quarter Kind of difficult to show. See if I can zoom in a little and give you a better look at it. But it's there are different um, varieties of this dye variety where there can be extra claws. This one has uh, kind of the one in between the first and second claw. It's got like an extra little clump there. So pretty cool. And last but not least. Did check for the extra keys on Duke, but this is a Denver one, and yeah, not really a possibility.
possibility there. So, oh, and actually this one too, the extra saddle horn, the doubling on this one. This is also Denver, so let's see if we can quickly show all of these here. So, like I say, I don't have any of the 99s, but I do have three of the 2000s in no particular order. So the gold highlighting is nice. Now we're on to 01. Two. There's only three each of 2000 through 2002. That one's kind of neat. Sippy. So now I do have all five of the 2003s. Oh, poor man's stack. So, mostly all highlighted though on those, kind of all the raised areas, but um, I like the selective um, highlighting on some. So that's 2004, obviously. Five and yeah, actually this one. Uh, if we had a, could have gone for the in God we rest, but not on a D coin. So same with the uh, die chips on uh, John Muir's hat. I think you need a Philadelphia for that one as well. So Oregon. That's nice. That's kind of a selective one. Sota oh six. So this one is cool with the trees left ungilded. South Dakota Nevada. Actually that's nice. So North Dakota. Ah, this one's cool with the uh, mountains left undone and the tracks, or actually the bedrock of the tracks there. The, pretty cool. Almost done. Hang on. So, sevens. So, I've got all five again of like the rest of these uh, through 08 and then kind of got shorted on the, the territories. So, ooh, Hawaii, that's cool. And I looked at that already. And I looked at this one. It's neat too with the canyon left undone. Puerto Rico. And so had to have the set. I got a good deal on it. Um, hope you enjoyed checking it out. So, a little different on a coin you see every day, but never seen these in all the times I've uh, been to the store. So pretty cool. So thank you so much for watching Coin Sense and Nonsense. And until next time, bye. Bye.